I'm a Michigan guy. Okay. So watching Notre Dame do hurts, anything well, hurts, it's like hurts, nails on a chalkboard to me. Okay. And then when there's a movie talking about how they are such a, a higher authority and moral authority and, and things of that nature, the, 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 the chalkboard gets larger and the nails longer, you know, uh, in that regard. But uh, look, Rudy is an excellent film. You're excellent in it. Uh, how true. You're so cute. How true. You're so cute. How, 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 <laughs> how truthful is it? How truthful? Yeah. Well, everybody keeps saying that Rudy was offsides. Well. Uh, and I keep saying they didn't call it. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. Uh, how I, truthful is it? There, yeah. Rudy put out a list of yeah. things in the early 90s, right after the movie came out. Like, I think there's at least 11 things that are factually inaccurate. Or at least they are liberties that were taken by sure. the film. Okay. It is a movie. It is a movie, you know, Rudy was in on the sack. I've seen the footage, the uh, 16 millimeter footage. Yeah. It wasn't like his solo sack. Dan Devine called uh, a radio show when, when Rudy was doing an interview promoting the movie saying, if any kid put their jersey on my desk, they never would have seen it again. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, no, nobody put their jersey on the desk, sure. but it's, it's a metaphor. It, it's, it's something symbolic that says that a team wanted to, you know, lift up somebody that they thought had a lot of heart. So right. it's, you know, so is it accurate? It's a really good movie. Sure. Um, and and there's enough accurate for us to all feel good about it. And how does, you've met Rudy, I imagine, many times. Oh, yeah, right? we're like, yeah. We're You're linked tight. forever, yeah. You're tight? Yeah. And is he, does he, does he admit that he was not really, like the whole team didn't carry him off the field and things like Here's that? Here's the thing. Do sure. you know what the Bengal bouts are? Do they have this in Michigan? What do you got? It's a, it's an intramural boxing. Okay. I wouldn't know, but the tournament. Maybe they, they have. Do. Let's say they Rudy do. made his bones on the campus mm -hmm. by beating everybody in the Bengal bouts. Okay. That was in the original script of the movie. Didn't make it into so the movie. So you're saying if I keep calling him a fraud, he's going to come kick my ass? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Sean Astin? That well, that'd saying? be an interesting fight. Um, it probably would end very quickly. I think in a, in a foot race, you got him. Well, uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Ru Rudy yeah. is. Um, Ru you can you can say Rudy's a fraud. You're you're allowed to say that. My business manager, the guy's in charge of I'm my money. I'm allowed to say that. Sure. Okay. You're, the, it's athletics, man. You can say what you want. I I'm remember my little it. brother booing at a Dodger game, yeah. and I was like, when we were little little kids, yeah. like it was it wasn't polite. I'm like, don't boo. And my grandmother snapped at me and said, he can boo if he wants to. And I was like, <laughs> whoa. Like grandma said, it's like yeah. my entire world was inverted. But right. but no, my my business. Manager who's in charge of my money, yes. Randy Sugarman, yes. said he went with a bag of tomatoes to see the movie because he's from SC. See what I mean? He we said, just, he, we... but he said he didn't pull them out of the bag. He said the movie's all right. Ex the movie's <laughs> really good. The movie's excellent. It is really good. Thanks. Uh, but I do hope that you're Papa Quad by the end. No, of the movie. you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. Can you drop an F bomb on? The guys that show? Oh my God! You can say you hope Rudy no, in no, retrospect. No, no. We saying, have a delay. Look, 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 no, look, look at this. Look at this. I have on right now. He's got Ooh, look at this. <laughs> what do you got? Look at this. Oh, That's that it. MRI says amazing. it's fine, but okay. I'm going to do a half marathon this weekend, right, and I'm praying of all things in the world, please, no Achilles, no quad. Fantastic. Like, please don't say that. Let me please tell you something. Please take it back. That is right there, and just you showing your feet, a walk-off. And I think you know, our radio audience definitely had suddenly, like, wait a minute, did he just say something bad? The answer is, this is, the, this is, this is what I've been looking for. I've been saying this for so, so long, and then I say it to the man who played Rudy, and then to have that word thrown back I'm at me. Sorry. No, 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 no. It, you it just, right it in my just, wheelhouse. no, it's a New Yorker. It's a New Yorker. I breathe it in, sir. And I respect it. <laughs> sorry. Amazing. I'm not going to crawl out of your studio. No. Praying God. to the God, the injury gods, to leave me alone. Look, I know you got to run, so uh, figuratively. And literally. Both, yeah. So, you know, I, I appreciate you you coming on the podcast. Oh, I love how smart you are. Thanks for all you do. No, thank you. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.